A new audit from the city controller's office found that the Adams administration wasted millions of dollars in its response to the migrant crisis. City controller Brad Lander, who recently announced to run for mayor, says the city mismanaged its contract with DOCCO. That's a firm that's come under fire for its handling of migrant services. According to the audit, nearly 80% of payments to DOCCO were not supported, including charges for hotel rooms that were never used. There was also substantial overbilling, $2 million overbilling on security guards, substantial overbilling for 10,000 vacant room nights just in those two months, and many other issues. Now, in response to the unused hotel rooms, Mayor Adams says the city was receiving about 4,000 migrants per week at that time, and his team had to be prepared to provide safe housing. The NTSB grilling Boeing executives again tomorrow on the door that blew off an Alaska Airlines flight last October. The agency wanting to find out what exactly happened during that flight. A preliminary report found that the bolts that secured the panel were not replaced after repair was done in a Boeing factory and that the work was not documented. The pilots were able to land the plane safely. Seven passengers and one flight attendant suffered minor injuries. Injuries we can't see which we often don't talk about, can have profound, lasting impacts on lives and livelihoods. So on behalf of the entire agency, we are so sorry for all that you experienced during this very traumatic event. Boeing is facing several lawsuits, but testimony from the NTSB hearing is not admissible in court. All right, let's get back to the severe weather that's...